Hello healers, Michaela here with another live chat, this time from the car. So let's continue our conversation around food, food cravings, food liberation, everything food. How do you reach a point, the point where you feel liberated from the food you eat and you feel like you have the uh, you have power over food. You can choose without feeling guilty afterwards, without feeling deprived, without feeling out of control and just feeling good, not only about the choices you make, but literally feeling good in your body. So um, the first thing, guys, if you want to stop craving, you have to regulate the way your body gets energy. In other words, if you rely only on glucose as your source of energy, remember that glucose as a source of energy is a fast, quick and fast burning fuel, which means you need to fuel all the time. Any little fluctuation in your blood glucose, in the availability of glucose to your brain, is going to be detected. That's when you have emotional food or glucose-induced emotional instability that manifests with lack of concentration, irritability, extreme hunger, obsessive thoughts around food. All of this you can actually find find them originating in an imbalanced blood glucose and this is relevant when you rely 100% on glucose as your source of energy why is that because your body you as a whole being can use other sources of energy one of which is fat and the other one is ketone bodies so here's the kicker your brain can only use glucose and ketones when both are available you thrive your brain is not going to be pee here and say i don't want glucose i want ketones or i don't want ketones i want glucose when ketones are available your brain will love using ketones and if the blood glucose dips and you have ketones available your brain is a happy camper. In other words, you are happy. You do not feel a fluctuation in your energy, in your emotional state, in your, you don't have cravings, etc., etc. You have now optimal fuel. Therefore, you have sustained energy and you have less cravings, believe it or not. So the first step in reaching food liberation and feeling like you are in control of your food chain is to change the way you uh, fuel your body to shift from a carb burner to a fat burner more about this on our next video for now let me know how you resonate with this information how is your energy do you even ever check your blood glucose to see how much it fluctuates it's nice to if you can wear a continuous monitoring glucose system to see that maybe you can even check your ketones to see if you ever produce those and um just ask yourself, am I a carb burner or a fat burner? Based on the, those uh, that I described before in terms of your energy, mood swings, food cravings, food obsession, ability to go long hours without eating or thinking about food and have the energy, all of this will be an indicator of whether you burn carbs or fats. And then in the next uh, chat, we can talk more about how how you go from a car burner to a fat burner have an awesome one i hope you're enjoying this mini trainings if you like to work together don't forget you can always message me and i'll send you an application for private coaching to see if we can make a team to help you find your cure have an awesome one and talk to you in the next video bye love you